Joe Scarborough over at the televised mental institution known as MSNBC, <laughs> he had Fauci on and Fauci, oh, I, I keep saying it, I cannot believe this guy has not just disappeared. Like, dude, you were the highest paid guy in the federal government. You're getting the highest pension of anyone in the government. Even if you think you did a good job, just go away for a while, but he can't <laughs> stop. He's addicted to the media. And uh, here is Fauci on Joe Scarborough yesterday. Right, and, and, and it's ever evolving and evolving very quickly. It's just like vaccines. People will still go, ah, you, you, you got COVID even though you got a vaccine. What we didn't, we didn't know, none of us knew, you didn't know exactly how those vaccines would impact the virus. Um, but we've learned quite a few things about the vaccines, too. There's a very resilient virus. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very durable right. virus, and, and, and it, it morphs very Scary. quickly. So, so develop a vaccine, and it still helps in a positive way, but it doesn't wipe out COVID. Can you explain what we've learned about vaccines yeah. over the last two years? Well, there's one very, very obvious fact that is borne up by very solid data. Joe, we know that if you compare unvaccinated people with vaccinated people with regard to hospitalizations and death, there is an overwhelming and dramatic difference of a greater likelihood of hospitalization and death among the unvaccinated. And as the months went by, if you compare vaccinated but not up to date with boosters, with people who are totally up to date on boosters, there's still a difference in the sense of vaccinated and updated boosted people do much better with regard to severity of disease. That's an open and shut case. There's no doubt about that. Actually, there is a lot of doubt about that. There are no studies that prove what he just said right there. He keeps saying it over and over. And this is what every celebrity and every politician kept saying when they would get COVID after they got vaxxed and boosted. I'm just so happy I got vaxxed and boosted because I have lesser COVID. There are no studies on that. And Robert Malone, who's the inventor and owns more patents on mRNA technology than anyone, he believes that the, that the vaccines are actually degrading people's immune systems, which is why we're getting this resurgence in shingles and a whole bunch of other usually dormant diseases that a lot of people have. So he made that up. He, notice he doesn't reference the study. He doesn't tell you any of the numbers but he keeps showing up. Savannah, he just keeps showing up and we should just expect he's just gonna keep showing up. Dr. Fauci is one of the biggest criminals that I've ever seen in my life. And the fact that he's not in jail right now is horrific because to be quite honest with you, the way that he handled uh, information to the American people over the past two years was horrific. And uh, again, he really did put so many people's lives at risk by stopping preventative treatments because he wanted to wait for the vaccine. Yep. And again, too, you can go look at the FDA fact sheet that was updated for the Moderna vaccine that says that myocarditis and pericarditis are indeed a side effect of this vaccination. For some mm -hmm. reason, we're barely hearing in the media that, hey, heart effects are an issue. You can go look at countries that have the highest vaccination rate, like Australia or New Zealand, and you can see that they're having an unusual uptick in deaths. If you'd like more sane takes on our insane world, check out our direct message clips playlist. And if you want to watch more full episodes of our live roundtables, watch our roundtables playlist. They're both right over here. And to get notified of all future videos, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell.